Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this five superstars that really did not have a good SummerSlam weekend video. Uh, obviously there was loads of superstars that did. Ronda Rousey became the new Raw Women's Champion. Roman Reigns finally beat Brock Lesnar and became the Universal Champion. Becky Lynch actually lost her match but is more popular now than she's ever been in her career. So I would argue Becky Lynch had a very good SummerSlam weekend. Uh, but these next superstars absolutely did not. And we are going to start with Nia Jax. Uh, not sure if she's picked up a minor injury. I can't find that reported anywhere. She was certainly out and about meeting the WWE Universe over the weekend. But uh, yeah, no matches for her. At SummerSlam, no matches for her on Raw the night after. She was nowhere to be seen. Uh, I'm sure they will have a big feud lined up for her, but she was completely absent this weekend. Uh, so not a very good weekend for Nia Jax. Another superstar that was completely absent, Bobby Roode. Where was Bobby Roode? Uh, obviously former NXT champion uh quite a big name on the roster uh, has been in a bit of a feud with elias uh but obviously that kind of fizzled out just before SummerSlam. not sure what the plan is for bobby Roode, but he was completely absent not at SummerSlam, and not at the raw the night after another superstar that was kind of absent was asuka Asuka, massive name, one of the biggest names in the women's division. Uh, her only role over SummerSlam weekend was to help keep Charlotte and Becky Lynch apart during this week's SmackDown Live. That is staggering, staggering that the winner of the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, uh, the woman that was undefeated for over 900 days, uh, and that only ended at WrestleMania this year, could not get any match on this year's SummerSlam. Or the SmackDown Live after. Number two on the list is Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan is meant to be back uh, in action now. He was meant to return before Dean Ambrose, uh, but it turns out this neck injury is more severe than we feared. And as a result, he has actually been backstage helping put matches together. Uh, apparently, he was the producer for Peyton Royce against Naomi, uh, which is staggering. I mean, it's all quite quiet at the moment. I think they're still hoping that there's a way that he can return to action, but it really, really does not look good for Jason Jordan at the moment. It looks likely that he may never return uh, to in-ring competition, and as a result might now work backstage putting matches together. Uh, so yeah, really, really awful time for Jason Jordan. But surely the person that had the worst SummerSlam was Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, who has been humiliated in the build all the way up to SummerSlam. Really thought he was going to get that briefcase. I really thought he was going to cash it in and leave with that Universal Championship, got absolutely destroyed by Braun Strowman, absolutely decimated, and then was not seen on Raw the night after. It's still the only action we saw from Kevin Owens was him getting absolutely destroyed. I would argue it's probably better to just not be on that show. It would have been better had he not turned up and just forfeited the match. But instead, he got absolutely destroyed. Uh, so no idea what the plan is uh, with Kevin Owens. He was missing from Raw. Is he going to come back and somehow cost Braun Strowman his cash-in moment? Or, you know, is there a bigger story at play here? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, is there anyone else that I missed? I know the likes of Ty Dillinger wasn't seen. The Usos weren't seen. There's plenty of superstars that weren't seen. But I think these names are probably the biggest that were missing. But let me know 
if there's anyone that I have missed out. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, see you again next time. Bye for now.